Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake Part 5. Right, we got done talking to what's his face here. I've already forgotten his name and his daughter, and we've got a key to get into an alleyway that leads to the station, to the subway station. Actually, there is a few things I forgot to pick up back here, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Again, all this area was um, prevalent in RE2. Oh, is this the alley? Oh, yeah, it is. In fact, I think the underground parking uh, garage is back here. I thought this was um, initially led to the, 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 the whatchamacallit, the uh, subway station, but no, it leads to the Raccoon City Police Department. Remember, we leave here with Ada. So this either takes place either a little before the events of Resident Evil 2 or a little bit after it or maybe during it. I'm not sure I'm not sure of the exact timeline of events. I'm not that savvy, but it it's not too far out from the events of Resident Evil 2. Is the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so is there anything else around here? No. Sir, sir, no, the restaurant is closed. And uh, judging by the weight of you, you probably don't need any more food. Oh shit, he heard that. He mad, boy. He absolutely, oh god, he mad, he mad, he, he, he mad, they're absolutely fucking mad now. Oh good lordy Lou, I ain't gonna spend any more time around here. Oh wow, wow. Look at that. What's up? Is this supposed to be the ambient occlusion? Looks a bit weird. I don't know. Probably looks better on PC. Okay. Anyway. Through the alleyway we go. Wait. Where's, where's the key? Oh, yeah. Here's the key. There we go. And hopefully we won't be seeing Nemi for a while. Although it's inevitable that we will. Oh, hey my dude, how are you doing? Uh, I'll mix it with that. Boom, there we go. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Woo. Oh, no. Stab in the butt cheek. Right in the butt cheek. Oh god, no, 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 no. Get off. Freaking cheap gate. Yeah, how's that? Right in the head. No! Why do I keep doing these stupid things? Why? Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Hell's bells no. I don't want to deal with that thing. Oh! Oh, that was absolutely savage. Hey, now what about you? Are you down for the count? Oh, you're definitely down for the count now. Ain't nobody going to survive that many stabs to the head. Okay, it's getting a little too quiet and I don't think I like it. Oh? Safe room? Ah, oh, not one of those things again. These things are so freaking disgusting. Oh, what the hell? I didn't know you could do that. Get back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, screw this. Screw this for a laugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's hardly fair. That's right, son. Get wrecked. You dead now? Pokey, pokey. Ah, oh, yeah. He ain't getting back up. Actually, do you know what that thing reminded me of? It reminded me of the uh, last Plagueis in Resident Evil 4. 
Okay, no, don't go out that side there yet. Just because of the way it's sort of uh, parasitic like. Yeah, see, this is why you have to do some exploring. Okay, we got Raccoon Times, Reader Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular, or harder on a parent's wallet, than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles, like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are you supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles, 69. Uh, okay. A very concerned parent. I probably would be too. Okay, and what do we have in here? Probably won't be able to pick it up though. Ooh, acid rounds. Um, no, I don't have enough room. Well, I can get, get rid of this now, so it's useless. Kendo's Geeky. Okay, I'll be taking those. And anything else that's here? No, nothing. Nada. And one other thing. At the beginning of the game, I missed a shit ton of notes in Jill's apartment. I don't know how in the hell I managed to do it. But, um... I did it. And I'm normally not like that. I normally check every nook, every treading, every corner for every type of collectible. Okay, and there's definitely nothing else around here, no. Nothing under the stairs. No, just junk I can't collect. Okay, it's very quiet here. I don't even see any zombies. I don't think I like it. On uh, Whoa Jesus Christ Oh hell no What the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ on a bike, man. No. What the? Leave me alone, Nemi. Wait, do I know where this is? Oh, he's locked on. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> And this time he's packing heat, boy! He means menace! Oh, oh, oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm on death store. Okay, where's he now? Also, I forgot that if you take on Nemesis and t take him down or knock him out, he sometimes drops, I think it's add-ons for weapons. Oh, first aid's right, thank god I found that. So I'll try and see if I can take him down, knock him out, and see what I can get from him. Not behind me now.
Okay, time to go. I've wondered about that because when I was editing my video, I heard a bit of a feedback, but I wasn't sure whether it was coming from my headset being too loud or the uh, DualShock 4 controller. I forgot it has a little speaker here. That's kind of cool, but it's pretty distracting. Shit, don't have enough room for that. Never mind. Uh, wait. There's got to be something I can do here. No? No. No. I, I, I can't throw away anything. Yeah, well, never mind. Unless there's a green herb lying about. No? No? No green herb? No? Okay, fine. I guess we're not going that way. Ooh, Jim Scrabs. Okay, somebody tell somebody tell somebody somebody has or Jim has crabs. Probably not good. Should look into that. That came out wrong, that came out weird. That didn't come out right. No oh, well. Oh Jesus Christ almighty! Oh, oh, oh. oh god, just run! Okay, so what now? <gasps> I'll give you stars! There you go! Oh, oh god, my face! Oh, 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 oh. We're going down. Yeah, you're not the only one who's got a bit of firepower. Hey! Yikes. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Yeah, I can't hit a moving target, can you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> oh, sh shit. I should probably use my explosive rounds now. Oh, god damn it. Wait, did I use my explosive rounds already? Ah, oh, shit, I did. Flame on! Oh. Am I close to taking you down? I probably am, am I? Oh! No, Nemi, did you drop anything from me? Yes, you did. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Examine what do I have here now? Flame rounds. Ready? That's all. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing, Nemi. I was hoping it would be something a little cooler. Oh, there you are, Carlos, my man. Don't worry, I took care of Nemesis for now. Holy shit, man. Nemesis is an absolute best up a thing, I tell you. I mean, ain't nothing taking him down. Maybe a nuclear warhead, but I don't think we'll be getting any of those anytime soon. Everyone out of the city now. Yeah. That's what he said. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do, like always, make a quick save up. Where did my typewriter go? Carlos, where did my typewriter go? Where did my save point go? Tell me this. I need to know these things. Okay, I'll take out shotgun shells. Uh, I'll take out gunpowder to make even more shotgun shells. Good lord, I am pretty much okay in the health and weaponry department, have I not? Semi Did I not put this on my fucking shotgun already? That might have been useful for when I was facing off against Nemesis there. Right, uh. Can I combine. Whoop, no. Combine this. This, and we have more shotgun shells. Boom. And I suppose. What I uh, suppose I'll do is I'll take this out. No. Okay, what I'll have to do is. Deposit this. Take out the red herb. Combine them like so. Then take out my last gun, uh, shotgun shell. There we go. I should lower my mic a little bit. There we go. Right, Carlos, let's roll out. Oh no, Carlos, you're coming with me. You're too much of a hunk to leave behind. Hey, Mikhail, how you doing? Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find that tangled part. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you. Leave you in a cold, cruel, cargoless world. Okay. You need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. See, you're learning. You know, life that matters. Good luck. Let's go. You don't really think that things are crucial like part of the story of life.
boys got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date. No, she won't like that. All right, so we're playing as Carlos now. Awesome, and we are at the Raccoon City Police Department or Police Station, whichever. Both the same thing. Oh, and this is where they start burying the dead. See, it's no wonder why they got the game completed or finished so fast because a lot of these areas, a lot of these assets, a lot of these places would have been recycled. So of course they can push the game forward. But I'm hearing a lot of things that um, it's very short and that's what a lot of people are complaining about. I don't know, according to my stats here, I've been playing for 7 hours. But that's not even remotely true. Oh god. <sighs> very grim times indeed. Oh, so this is Brad, and Brad was the one who bit what's his name? I can't, I can't think of um, the police officer's name there. Oh my God, that—that's how we got bit. I should try and focus more on learning the names of the characters. Uh, speaking of which, I want to go back. Back down this alleyway here. Because there's a little room, but I'm not sure if it's open. Ah, yeah, here we go. It's the save room from Resident Evil 2. Oh, wait, there's no typewriter here. Oh, yeah, there he is, Brad. Brad Vickers. That's true. Okay, email outbox. Sender Lucy Yen. Subject disposal complete. Sent September 26, 2.35 a.m. Department in chaos after spread of infection. Multiple citizens taking refuge here are infected. All files related to you successfully disposed of. Awaiting further orders. Sender Lucy Yen. Ongoing developments. Sent September 27, 3.05 a.m. Communications intercepted from S. Hosp on Star's private communications line. Presumed to be evac request from B. Possible he will flee the hospital and come here. Request UBCS dispatch. I would evacuate with their assistance. Sender, Lucy Yen, subject evacuation request. September 27, 11.54 p.m. Requested evac has not arrived yet. This position is becoming untenable. I remained here with the condition my safety would be guaranteed. If I am left to die here, I will distribute proof of collusion and corruption between you and RC's civic leaders. You have one hour to deliver a response. Oh, so you must be Umbrella and Raccoon City is... Well, or RC is Raccoon City. Oh, okay. So it's collusion then. I knew it. Somebody didn't have time to put a fuse on it. Oh, that must be Leon's. So Leon hasn't yet arrived. Oh, I see. So this takes just before the events of Resident Evil 2. I see. Okay, makes sense. Okay, assault rifle ammo, red herb. No green herb around here now. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, what's this? No, that's nothing. I can't go in there. Hey, Brad. No! I can't do it. Can't do it to you, man. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. Got a job to do. 
see everything still worth a damn than guards in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. And I don't suppose we'd run into Mr. X here now. Get your ass over here. No, not yet. I want to do some exploring. Uh, what was the name of the police officer that, that was here in Resident Evil 2 again? I can't think of his name. God damn it. I'm picturing the cutscene in my mind, but the name just isn't ringing any bells. Or trigger triggering any memory. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows what got to keep him under our thumb. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. I'll call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. And I don't suppose I can go through this shutter. No? I can't open it myself? Alright. If you want me to keep out, I'll keep out. A good idea. Oh, oh, save point. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll just check about upstairs as well while I'm here. I mean, some of the rooms are probably going to be blocked off or locked, yes. See? Can't get through that. Oh. Hang, hang on ammo, thank you. Be needing all of that good stuff. Oh, they do have a handgun. But I'll probably be be relying more on my res on my assault rifle. Oh, can I go? Oh. Ah, yeah, everything's weird here because you need weird keys to get through weird doors. Okay, back downstairs we go. Ah, uh, yes, all this brings back memories now. It doesn't seem that long ago. Then again, I was probably one of the last people to finish off Resident Evil 2. Okay, so we... Oh, that probably requires a code. Oh, oh, the star's ID, okay. ID card security protocols. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, the same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPD, Facility Maintenance Department. Alright, good to know. I'll probably find that later on. Any notes here? No. We got a cool though. We did r run into Mr. X. Oh God! What the hell was that thing? Oh, the liquors! Oh, good Lord! I have to be quiet around here. And oh. I remember this. I remember this back in Resident Evil 2. Couldn't have been a zombie. Oh, good lord. That is just grotesque. I, I remember that. Oh, he, he's missing half his head, and this guy just gets impaled. How you doing, buddy? You've seen better days. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah, see that claw marks. Definitely a liquor. Hey, stick around. Oh no. Uh, here we go. 
Okay, guns out. Oi, can I shoulder rush him? Oh, what the hell? Get off. Sir, get down. Get down to goddamn ground. Let's sink it. Jesus. Get down. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Shit, I thought the liquor was coming. Get back. Back it up, sir. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I should probably combine this with this and use them right now. There we go. God damn it, do I feel stupid. Oh, it's that chubby arm of the law. Hey, what the fuck? This guy again? God, sweet Christ almighty. Doesn't take a damn hint, does he? Definitely dead now. Oh, back it up. Sir, you look like you've eaten enough for one day. Jesus. Get down to the ground. Back it up. Okay, I ain't gonna stick around any longer. Spent way too much ammo on those guys. And lost way too much health. Okay, let's see what I can find in here. Probably more notes, am I right? Yeah, I'm always right. There's gotta be a note here somewhere. Uh, flash grenade. Yep, yeah, I'll be taking that. That could be useful. In case I get a bit too uh, claustrophobic. Okay, so I can't go through here. Wait, I thought there was an, another door in this office now. No, this is the only one? Okay. Ooh, assault rifle ammo. I've got plenty of that. Chief, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch the thing. Okay, and locker room code is CAP. CAP. That, sh that should be easy to remember. And I'm not going through that door. And the locker room is upstairs as far as I remember. Oh hi. Oh Jesus, there's way too many of you guys here. Why? Why? Just freaking why? Uh, that's it. I'm taking off my assault rifle. Just stab you to make sure you're dead. Oh, no, you're not. Probably are now. <gasps> Back it up. Oh. Still not dead. But now you're de dead. Definitely dead. Oh, nice. Jesus Christ, the amount of plebs in this station. Oh, doggies, that's a lot. Just gotta make sure they're dead. Oh, no, they're all getting up to do the zombie shuffle now. Oh, get off. Hey, don't be chomping on my men meat here. Are you definitely dead? Are you sure about that? Are you definitely sure? Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. Wait, I hear something else. Okay, no. Must have been my imagination.
And look at me, I'm on caution again. Ooh, go me. Lucky I got a green herb. Okay, there's no ammo dropped around here. Okay, and another locker, or another briefcase, which I can't open yet. Hey. Oh, hi. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery. Boop. Oh, no, you're still alive and kicking. Not for long. Okay, I don't trust you. Back it up, buddy. Okay. He's definitely dead now. Or, or at least good as. Can I get ammo just what I needed? Okay, don't have the s code for that yet. September 20th, arrest report. Name, Rodney Gray, occupation unemployed, former electrician. Charges unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative, suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Buck Street on September. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of the suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began. And at one point, questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn him. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended, and a sedative was administered. Note, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment, Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Wait. Whoops. Was that Wesker? Oh... Interrogating Officer Wes Drucker. It sounds like a play on words of Wesker. Could be. Okay. Now, let's check these lockers. There's nothing else left lying about here, no. And I can't exit through that. No, because I need the key. Oh, hang on, ammo. Red herb. Damn, if only I kept that green herb. I'll probably find another one later on. Ah, oh, damn it. Probably needs a key. Oh, boy. Aren't you freaky? Get back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not again. Oh, still fine, though. Get back. We can take your kneecaps out. Or, no, nope. bullet in the head is more effective. But so is the knife in the testicles. Okay, you're definitely dead. I kind of fucked up shooting cops. Well, they're not really cops anymore. They're zombies. Ah, uh, yes, and here is a save room. 
Okay, I'll just see what I have here now before I save and end the video. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant tree number combination safe. Move from Stars office second floor to West office first floor. And the combination is F9, right 15, left 7. Please change combo A7 upon receipt. Okay. Yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Right after I take what's in the safe. Ooh, is this a camera? <laughs> oh, wouldn't we all? Okay, right, I think this is an alright place to leave off the video. I mean, uh, I, think I've, think I think I've done enough for, for one video now, because I've been recording for about nearly 15 minutes, but there's going to be about nearly 10 minutes cut out from me fucking up reading reading notes because I do stumble over my words half the time and it takes a while to edit those mistakes out and to make it a bit more fluid. I mean, I could leave them in to make fun of myself, but <laughs> why would I leave myself open to such ridicule? Anyway, guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, favorite, share with your friends, and of course subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. So on to next time. See ya.